I've been asked this question many times through YouTube comments and Instagram DMs and I think it's about time I made a video on this. So the question is, is aerospace engineering hard to study? So this question's actually very difficult to answer because my answer of how difficult it would be to study aerospace might not resemble how difficult you will find it to study aerospace. And if I were to try and answer the question of how difficult it would be for you to study aerospace engineering, well, I'd have to know many things like your strengths, your weaknesses, your passions, your motivation in life, and also your life goals. And that's not even the end of it. There's probably much more things that I'd have to know to understand really how difficult it will be for you to study aerospace engineering. So to answer the question truthfully about how I personally found aerospace engineering and the difficulty of it, I need to give you some context about my ac academic background and also the reason of why I wanted to pursue aerospace engineering. So academically, I'd say I was fairly talented. Um, in my GCSEs, I got five A stars, one A, three Bs and a C and my A's and A stars were predominantly in maths and science-based subjects. Moving on to my A-levels, I did maths, further maths and physics, and in each of those subjects, I got an A at A-level, which suggests, you know, I was moderately good at academic subjects. The last bit you need to know is why I chose to study aerospace engineering in the first place, and it's actually quite close to me because I have always dreamt of being an astronaut, and. I know many astronauts have gone on the route of studying aerospace engineering first before going on to make their career as an astronaut and that's the only way I knew of being an astronaut when I did apply to universities. So that pretty much summarizes my pre-university academic level and also my motivation as to why I wanted to study aerospace engineering specifically. Now I personally found the degree somewhat difficult and I did have to put the hours in to ensure I got the top grades that I wanted to. So even though the course was difficult and it was full of tricky concepts and topics to understand. I'd say my academic ability did help out in a sense where I wasn't working like 24 seven to understand the topics. I could rely on my natural ability to pick stuff up quickly in some areas of the degree. So that definitely helped out. So overall, I'd say it, for me, it was fairly easy to get a first class degree in the end of the four years that I studied aerospace engineering. But maybe you're still wondering as to why it was important for me to explain my past academic history and academic talent, as well as my reason to study aerospace engineering in explaining how difficult is it to study aerospace engineering? Well, this is because how difficult you will find to study aerospace engineering revolves around two things. One is your academic talent, and two is your drive and motivation to actually complete the degree at a high level. So here's a graph to explain what I mean. So before recording this video, I actually had a small discussion with my friend from university who also studied aerospace engineering and who also graduated this year with a first class degree. So based on this discussion, we agreed that if you have a high academic talent or ability, and you also have a very high interest and motivation to study aerospace engineering, you're going to find the course very easy because A, you're going to know your stuff and have the cognitive ability to actually understand the aerospace concept and the mathematics behind it. And secondly, you're gonna be able to and want to put in the work when the time gets tough to achieve your grade that you want to achieve. And the fact that you are interested and have that motivation to study the topic means that you won't find it difficult when you're not understanding something because you'll enjoy the process of actually learning it and therefore your overall experience of the degree would be that you find the course really easy to get a first class in. But if you look at the other side of this graph, if you have a low academic ability and you also have no interest in the topic of aerospace engineering, then it's very likely that you might even come in to do one term at university and drop out after that because you're not gonna have the natural talent to understand the concepts quick enough, nor will you have the interest to even put the work and effort in to understand anything. And if aerospace engineering is or may be for you, I would say check this video out first because that sort of covers what type of person aerospace engineering suits. Anyway, see you around guys.